Hello and welcome to Alexpo and it is time for the final part of my League 2 experiment. Over the past few weeks and months or however long it's been, I've sent a world class player from a certain position to a League 2 club to see how big a difference one player could make. We had goalkeeper Jan Oblak getting Bradford at the Championship, centre back Virgil van Dijk got Salford at the Championship, centre midfielder Kevin De Bruyne only got Carlisle at the League 1 and that's all striker Harry Kane could do with Leighton Orient as well. The two defensive base players did much better, but no one could go all the way and get their club to the Premier League. Well this time it's the final part of the series as we put all four players into the same League 2 team and see if this is the time we can achieve promotion all the way to the top of the English football ladder. As always, each player's got a 5 year contract on a grand a week and in 2025 they're going back to their original club. This time I'm sending the boys off to Barrow, which I'm reliably informed is right on the opposite side of the country to me right now, thanks to the map I've just looked at. So let's do it, can the fantastic four of Oblak, Van Dijk, De Bruyne and Kane inspire little old Barrow all the way to the Premier League? Let's find out. Ok here we are at the start of the simulation the 27th of July 2020 and newly promoted Barrow are top of Sky Bet League 2 because of alphabetical order but that's fine. As you can see, the new boys have arrived. We've got Jan Oblak, we've got Virgil van Dijk, we have got, where is he? We've got Kevin De Bruyne hiding somewhere just like Kevin McAllister and we've also got Harry Kane. I mean Harry Kane apparently wants to leave Tottenham, maybe his Barrow might not be a bad shout for him. Maybe he likes the seaside or... I mean has he ever been to Barrow in his life? I highly doubt it. Another issue Barrow have got is they're going to need to find a new manager for the start of the season. I didn't realise that, maybe I should have sent them someone like... Jose Mourinho or Steve Bruce or Allegri, anyone really. Either way, they're going to have to find themselves a new manager. But let's simulate a year in the future. Let's see how our world class players get on in League 2. Can they thrive together? I mean, in the past, we've seen them go up to League 1. All four players achieve promotion to League 1. But as a collective, surely they should absolutely romp it. Let's see how they get on. Okay, here we are, the 20th of June 2021, the end of the first season of the simulation. And as expected, Barrow have walked their way to the League 2 title. They are going straight up, they've won back to back promotions. They are going to the third tier of English football as champions. Barrow got a huge 110 points. They were miles ahead of anyone. They were 28 points clear of Exeter who came second. Harry Kane won the golden boot, Kevin De Bruyne got the most assists, Jan Oblak got the most clean sheets. The only person who doesn't appear in these top charts is Virgil van Dijk, but I assume he's had a wonderful season as well. I mean Harry Kane there, an 8.41, De Bruyne an 8.13, 26 clean sheets for Jan Oblak and little Bobby Thomas got 15 yellow cards, whoever he is. They got Keith Curlin as manager and he is the man who has delivered promotion. Harry Kane, interestingly, the man who got the armband. I would have thought it would have been Virgil van Dijk out of the four of them, but apparently Harry Kane's got it, that, that's fine. So out of the four, I mean, unsurprisingly, those four players are the ones at the top of the charts for Barrow. Although Luke James is down there. I'm sure Luke James used to live at Hartlepool. He used to be really highly rated. Floppy haired kid. Well, he's not quite floppy haired now. Was he at Hartlepool? He was. I'm not making this up. And he's had a wonderful season at Barrow. But anyway, Harry Kane, the best player, 38 goals, 11 assists. Kevin De Bruyne, 16 goals, 30 assists. Even Virgil van Dijk got 5 goals and 5 assists. And Jan Oblak, I mean, he didn't score or get an assist, but I mean, however, we can't all be Alisson, can we? But those average ratings are exceptional. And the two creative players, I mean, those are world-class ratings. Above 8, I mean, 8.42, 38 goals in all competitions for Harry Kane. I mean, in the past... It was the two defensive players who got the furthest. I thought because they had the solid base to, you know, kick on and thrive. And maybe that is just getting even more out of the two attacking players, De Bruyne and Harry Kane. Let's have a look at the schedule, see if there's been any joy elsewhere. I mean, what a start of the season it was. They didn't lose a game until they played Watford in the semi-finals of the League Cup. Then they were beaten by Aston Villa in the FA Cup third round. Christ, it's been piss easy for Barrow. Until they got beat by Scunthorpe in the Papa John's Cup and they didn't get any pizza. That is a little bit devastating for Barrow. But in the league, it is no surprise that they've walked to the title. They didn't taste defeat in the league until January when they lost 2-1 to Southend United. They only lost four games all season, I think it was. Let's have a little look. Four league games all season. A goal difference of plus 50. It has been absolute domination from Keith Curls 
Barrow side, which I mean, he's looked in a little bit here. He's got the bloody Avengers lining up for him. I know I'm getting my superheroes mixed up between the Avengers and Fantastic Four, but whatever. The Avengers was better than Fantastic Four anyway. Let's move into Season 2. Right, that's one promotion down. We're going into League 1 now. Surely they can do back-to-back. -back. They can make it a hat-trick of promotions. Let's see how they get on in 2022. Okay, here we are, the 19th of June, 2022. And while they haven't got as many points as last season, Barrow have done it again. They have won the title. They have made it three promotions in a row, two in this simulation. And they are going straight up to the championship. They got 95 points, nine clear of Blackpool, who came second. Harry Kane, another golden boot for him. De Bruyne, more assist than anyone, 23. This time it was De Bruyne better than Harry Kane at 8.27. And Jan Oblak will be disappointed because he hasn't won the Golden Glove pipped by Andrew Fisher, the MK Don stopper. And yet again, no Virgil van Dijk, but that's fine. I mean, I'm going to have a quick little detailed look at the table. I'd assume they've probably conceded the, le the least of everyone. The least. Goals against. No, actually, MK Don's had a tighter defence. Only 28 conceded. Surely Barrow had the best attack at least, yeah, 73 goals, only two more than Blackpool. So, I mean, it hasn't been total domination, to be honest with you. I mean, they've they've won the title at a bit of a canter, a nine-point lead over Blackpool. But it's not the League 2 levels of domination. I mean, 110 points is ridiculous. But let's have a look at Barrow in a bit more detail. Keith Curl, still the manager, of course. Harry Kane, still the skipper, telling Van Dijk and Black and De Bruyne what to do. Let's have a look at the players. There's been a big signing, actually, at Barrow. They've even got Harvey Elliott on loan. And they've even got a long throw expert in Ryan Shotton. I mean, all due respect to Ryan Shotton, he was one of those players I never liked. But we're not here to talk about Ryan Shotton, we're here to talk about these four superstars. Harry Kane, an 8.29, the best player at the club, 34 goals, 11 assists. De Bruyne, 14 goals, 28 assists. Van Dijk hasn't been as important in front of goal, 2 goals and 2 assists, but his rating's been even better at 7.75. And there's Jan Oblak, still no goals, no assists, but playing every game. And he's been absolutely wonderful. 26 clean sheets in the first season, 21 in the second. His average rating's only gone down by 0.01. He's a picture of consistency in between the sticks at Barrow, at whatever their stadium's called. What is the stadium called at Barrow? I should have really researched Barrow before I did this. Maybe should have went, did a bit of market research. The Progression Solicitor's Stadium. Solicitor's man. I don't envy us one bit. But that is two seasons down. And it's two promotions in a row. Has there been any other trophies? I mean, how did they start this season? Not as well as the season before. They actually kicked off the league with a defeat to Doncaster Rovers. They were knocked out. They were knocked out of the League Cup by Doncaster Rovers. Christ, they hate playing Doncaster Rovers. What happened the second time when they played Doncaster? They beat them. That's fine. FA Cup. They were knocked out by Fulham on a replay. So that, that's not bad at all. And in the Papa John's, pizza is coming home to Barrow. They beat the Arsenal under 23s in the final. Harvey Elliott and Ryan Schott and my main men, I've just been talking them up earlier on. They were the men who delivered the Papa John's Cup. It'll be margaritas and pepperonis all round for Van Dyke and Co. So after two seasons, we've won back-to-back -back promotions, both league titles won, and they've also got a Papa John's trophy coming to the North West. Now we're going into the championship. This is as far as we've got in the past, we did it with Van Dijk and we did it with Jan Oblak. Kevin De Bruyne and Harry Kane, they're doing better than ever before. But as we go into the championship, will there be three promotions on the bounce? Can we make it all the way to the Premier League with ease? Let's find out. Okay, here we are, the 18th of June, 2023. And sadly, Barrow are a bottom half team in the championship. They've came 15th. 60 points on the board, pretty much in the middle of the pack. They were 15 points clear of the relegation zone. They were 17 points shy of the playoffs, pretty much bang in the middle of the table. And it looks like it's the championship where things are levelling out for our League 2 climbers. Harry Kane, the best player in the division, him and Kevin De Bruyne and Nip and Tuck 7.97 and 7.96 respectively. But the assists wasn't dominated by De Bruyne. The goals haven't been dominated by Harry Kane. Now the match awards, there's Van Dijk finally getting in the top charts. And even in clean sheets, no Jan or Black to be seen. These four world-class players have been somewhat stunted. Keith Curl, still the skipper, not the skipper, still the manager rather. Harry Kane is the skipper. Let's have a look at the cup competitions. 
League Cup knocked out by Derby. It was a lot, lot harder in the Championship for Barrow. FA Cup knocked out by QPR. And they've just been so inconsistent all year. A win, a draw, a win, a draw. There's four wins in a row. That was probably about as good as it got at the start of the season. 15th in the Championship. But at least they have survived. Harry Kane, has he been injured? Has that been an issue? Let's have a little look at Harry Kane. He's just recovering from a broken ankle. That might suggest why Barrow have struggled. He's been out for three months since March, going into a crucial part of the season. In fact, he had sprained ankle ligaments. Harry Kane has missed a lot of football this season, which might explain why Barrow haven't been at their flying best. And Kevin De Bruyne was the best player at the club. Eight goals, ten assists. I mean, that's down massively. Harry Kane still got 20 goals. Van Dijk still wonderful. Jan Oblak still playing well. What about our good mate, Ryan Shotton? Nowhere to be seen. What's happened to Ryan Shotton? Why have they got rid of Ryan Shotton? Let's go and have a little look at Jan Oblak. Clean sheets all the way down to eight. He's conceded just shy of a double the amount he did the season prior. He's conceded more goals every year. But in League 2 and League 1, it was barely any. It just shows the golf in class. I mean, League 1 and League 2 seem fairly similar. But the Championship is just another level up. Goodness knows what would happen in the Premier League. But we still might get there, to be honest with you. We've still got two more seasons. And they're going to have a fully fit Harry Kane, hopefully, going into Season 4. That might be what has stunted Barrow slightly. I mean, they were still quite far off the playoffs. But let's go into Season 4. We're still in the Championship. We've got one more shot, really, to get into the Premier League. And then these four players will have a crack in the top flight of English football. And if they go up in Season 5 and they go home, then what was the point? But let's go into Season 4. Let's go to the summer of 2024. Let's see if Barrow can climb the table. Okay, here we are, the 23rd of June, 2024. And this is the closest we've ever came to achieving Premier League promotion. Barrow have climbed the table from 15th. They finished fifth this season. They were in the playoffs where they were beaten in the semi-finals by Bournemouth. It was a much better season this time for Barrow. 81 points on the board. Only eight shy of Newcastle who went up second automatically. Harry Kane back to his best, clearly playing much more football. The best player in the division by a mile, 8.11. He got the golden boot, he got more man of the match awards than anyone, 22. Jan Oblak, 19 clean sheets this time. The Fab Four have been much better this time, clearly. But it still hasn't been enough to deliver promotion. They were beaten by Bournemouth, 4-2 on aggregate, so moderately convincing what was the scores it was 3-1 in the second leg so that'll have made it 1-1 in the first leg I mean Bournemouth just did them over at Dean Court let's check Barrow out Keith Curl still a skipper why do I keep saying skipper he's still a manager why do I keep saying Keith Curl is the captain would Keith Curl do a job in this back four alongside Virgil van Dijk was Keith Curl a centre back or have I just made that up anyway let's check the players out Unsurprisingly, it's the same four at the top. They've also signed Ross Stewart. I'm going to say Ross Stewart plays for Sunderland in reality. Jordan Ibes there, he's been pretty rubbish. And Ethan Galbraith, who I want to say has come through the Man United Academy. Yes, well, he's at Barrow now and he's, well, he got two assists. He's, he's the number seven. That, that's okay, at least. But it's the four players we're interested on. There's been no injuries concerned this time. They've all played a more than 50 games. Jan Oblak and Virgil van Dijk playing the most at 51 and 50. But Harry Kane, the only player to get above an 8. Kevin De Bruyne dropped off slightly, but he still got goals and assists, both in double figures, 10 and 12 respectively. 26 goals for Harry Kane. Let's have a little look at Jan Oblak. I don't know why Jan Oblak I'm so interested in. 19 clean sheets, as we say. His average has gone up to a 7.33. Only 39 conceded this time, but still not enough to navigate the tricky waters of the playoffs. League Cup, they were beaten by Carlisle, that's pretty disappointing. And the FA Cup, beaten by West Brom, which is neither here nor there. It was a decent end of the season, to be honest with you. And then they got the playoffs and they just crumbled. Harry Kane put them in front as well. Oh, they were in front in both legs. And it's all just gone tits up. It looks like Jan Oblak's had a little bit of a stinker in the second leg. A rating of just six. I mean, Kevin De Bruyne was wonderful, 8.7. Even Harry Kane, he came off injured. Did he come off injured, I assume? Well, he was injured. Either way, four seasons. And we've got to the playoff semis. 
where it's ended in heartache. They've only got one season left. If Whether they go up or not, these players are not going to get a chance to represent Barrow in the Premier League. I mean, look at Virgil van Dijk, man. That is absolutely exceptional. He's barely fluctuated at all throughout all four seasons. That man is just an absolute class act at the back. I mean, it's no wonder Liverpool have struggled so much without him. I know we can talk about Man City missing a striker or anyone missing any injured player, really. But the impact Virgil van Dijk's injuries had has just been insurmountable. Is that right? Is that the right use of the word, insurmountable? Anyway, Harry Kane, let's have a little look at him. I mean, exceptional again. 21 Man of the Match awards. In half the games Harry Kane played, he won the Man of the Match. I mean, do they still get champagne in the championship? I'm not sure. It might just be a little trophy nowadays. I think it is just a little trophy. Either way, his house is bloody full of them. But what it isn't full of is championship promotion winners medals. Will there be one in the final year? Let's go into the summer of 2025. It will be the final season of the simulation. Will it be the last dance? Can we make it to the Premier League? Harry Kane is our Michael Jordan. Kevin De Bruyne is our Scotty Pippen. Virgil van Dijk is our Dennis Rodman. And Jan Oblak is the other one. Maybe he's the, the really tall Croatian guy or, or, or the manager. I, I don't know. I, I ran out of players with the last dance. I'm, it was a while ago I watched it. Anyway, let's go into season five. Let's see if Barrow can finally achieve promotion. Okay, here we are, the 22nd of June 2025, the fifth and final season, and yet again, it is ended in heartache for Barrow. They slightly improved on last season, they came fourth, 83 points, and still they were beaten in the semi-finals of the playoffs, this time losing to Blackburn 2-0 on aggregate. They were beaten 2-0 at Ewood Park, and in the second leg, a 0-0 draw was all Barrow could muster up which has left them rotting, in, well not rotting in the championship, either way that's where they're going to be next season when they haven't got Harry Kane, De Bruyne, Van Dijk or Jan Oblak. Harry Kane, the best player in the division with an 8.02 ahead of Kevin De Bruyne who got a 7.86. Harry Kane didn't win the Golden Boot, but more Man of the Match awards than anyone went to Kevin De Bruyne with 11. One more than Jan Oblak who got 10. It's been a wonderful season for Jan Oblak, 27 clean sheets I mean that is absolutely incredible that's more sorry that's equaled what he got in the first season in league two and he's had his best season of the simulation only 25 goals conceded in 46 games 26 clean sheets is absolutely astounding maybe it's goals where Barrow have been slightly let down 83 points on the board let's check them out Keith Curl is still the manager not the skipper not the skipper has Harry Kane had an injury? He's only played 32 times, which might suggest he's been ruled out with an injury at some point. There we are, start of the season, he picked up a hip problem, out for four months. Harry Kane, who for some reason is the number six now, has effectively cost Barrow promotion. Maybe if he'd been fit at the start of the season, they would have won a few more games. How did they get on at the start of the campaign? Not too bad, to be honest with you, there was... Well, they had a little bit of a rough patch here. But the end of the season... Actually, even the end of the season wasn't very good either, so maybe it wasn't Harry Kane's fault. Either way, it has ended in disappointment. De Bruyne didn't even hit double figures. Avid rating's still great. Virgil van Dijk's still exceptional. He's just a picture of consistency wherever he goes, Virgil van Dijk. Let's have a quick back at the schedule. FA Cup being in the fourth round by Chelsea. And the League Cup out in the second round to West Brom. But after five seasons, I'm so I can't believe we haven't made it to the Premier League, man. So at the end of this experiment, we got to the championship with All Black, we got to the championship with Van Dyke, but I mean to the in fairness, whilst they were in the championship, they never came close to promotion. This time, Barrow have came so so close. Two seasons in a row, they finished in the playoffs, and they've been beaten in the semis both years, even having four world-class players couldn't take Barrow from League 2 all the way to the Premier League. It was easy getting into the Championship, that's where things became a little bit more difficult. Maybe if we'd had a fitter striker than Harry Kane, maybe if we'd had Haaland or maybe Zimbabwe, things could have been different. But it has ended in absolute heartache. I'm, I really thought this was going to be the one. I thought surely if we put all four players we could make it to the Premier League. 
but it just hasn't, hasn't happened. And on that sour note, I'm going to go for a little cry. We will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. And until next time, we will see you round.